Hello, everybody. We are going to start a new workshop at the 19th GBC International GBC Conference. And we are going to see uh, how to work with GBC 2.6, that is the last version <clears throat> of GBC. It includes a new uh, icon set. Uh, so uh, it's very interesting to know uh, how to work with this uh, version. The main difference uh, in in, uh, in functionali functionalities are the new version control system where we can connect to a server a repository and we can work with another colleagues uh, another users uh, on the same uh, cartography and then we can work with uh, different versions of our cart cartography and we can go back to a concrete uh, date uh, to see how the how the cartography was, so it's the main <clears throat> the main functionality the the main novelty in GBC desktop two dot six two dot six, but uh, the other one is the uh, new icon set. So if you have worked with GBC previ uh, previously, uh, you won't see anything new, uh, only the icons. But uh, it's very interesting to to follow this workshop. Uh, to get uh, to get used to the to this uh, new icon set, so <clears throat> I'm going to start uh, sharing desktop, sharing screen. And here you can see the blog. Uh, if you have, uh, if you want to follow the the workshop. You can go to the blog, and then if you look for 19, you can find all the posts about uh, the 19th GBC conference, and there will be one about free workshop on introduction to GBC using version 2.6. At this uh, post, you can see the version to install. This is the 2.6 version and the cartography this is a zip file that you have uh, you have to download and unzip so if you want to follow the the workshop uh, you have uh, to do this one these uh, actions so and the other information that i'm going to to give you is that if you go to uh, gbc2.com you can go to products and gbc desktop and in download, downloads ver, uh, section, you can find the last version. Now it's 2.6, 2.6. Uh, but in some weeks, uh, you will have the 2.6.1. So here is the portable version when uh, where it's a zip file that you have to unzip, and you can uh, run GBC directly. So after that. You will have a folder. This is the Windows folder. This is the Linux one. And uh, for Windows, you will have several GBC desktop uh, files. One of them is GBC desktop to the, uh, dot exe. Uh, this is an application uh, file if you don't have the extensions of the files. And uh, you have to double click on this file. For Linux, you will have a GBC to the SH. And you will have to run this file, so you can run now a uh, GBC. In my case, I'm uh, working on Linux, Ubuntu, so I'm going to run GBC from here. After that, you will see a uh, GBC, and the main difference is the new icon set. You will, will you will see that they are uh, newer than the uh, than the other ones, and they are uh, bigger than than the other ones. So it's very interesting uh, because you can work in a better way. So uh, I'm I have to say you uh, that the position of the icons are more or less the same. So you won't have 
uh, problems in the, when we when you work on GBC uh, 2.6, but uh, there are several differences uh, where we were well where we had uh, several icons related to the same issue. For example, the measure of distances, uh, areas, and angles. Some of them have been uh, put on a, a drop-down uh, button. For example, you can see here a query area, query distance, and angles. So uh, in, in GBC 2.5, they, they uh, there were three different buttons. So now you have a drop-down uh, button. This is the main difference. There are several buttons in this situation. So now we have a view on GBC. And uh, if you download the cartography for this workshop, you will have this folder. After unzip the folder, you will have London, traffic signs, USA. Uh, this is the information that we are going to use in this uh, workshop. So after that, you can find the fourth uh, button is a layer this one, a layer, and you can press, you can press here. If you have any doubt during the workshop, if you are, if uh, you are on, uh, following it uh, now, you can use uh, the chat of the, uh, of the presentation <clears throat> of the platform. But if you are going to follow the workshop in the future, uh, on the video that we are going to upload to YouTube, you can use the uh, mailing lists of the project, of GBC project, to ask about uh, the doubts. So uh, with a add layer a window, we have different options. We have files where we can add uh, local files from our computer. You can load vector and raster files, for example, uh, shape files, uh, KML, GM, GML, uh, and different uh, type of vector files. And we also can uh, load images. So raster files uh, like uh, TIFF, uh, JPG, uh, so JPG, so different uh, files in raster files. We're going to press add file and we're going to the workshop folder then to london and then we are going to load london boroughs so this is a, a layer of the districts the boroughs of london you can press here and open and we can see that uh, the reference system of the layer is different than the reference system of the view this one is a uh, meters and this one is in degrees, so <clears throat> latitude and longitude, longitude. So we have to press this button, CRS view, to change the reference system of the view to be the same than the uh, layer. So after that, if we press accept, we can see this layer here, and we can see the reference system of the view have, has been changed. Okay, so <clears throat> we are going to continue. After that, we are going to open the attribute table with secondary button, we can press attribute table or we can use this button. It has been changed uh, with the new icon set, show attribute table. In the previous one, it was a uh, yellow, it had a, a, yellow <clears throat> a yellow part. Now it's different, it's only a table. So you can open the show attributes table uh, button. After that, you can see all the boroughs of London and you can select, you can select them with control key. You can select different ones or unselect. Okay. And you can see the selected items on the view. Uh, geometries on the view. Okay, so now <clears throat> we can apply a symbology by different uh, by a field 
of the attribute table. For example, <clears throat> we can color, we can apply a legend, a symbology, with the different names of the boroughs. Okay. So here we have, we can close the table, the attribute table, and we can Uh, sorry, there's a, a question in the chat. Uh, yes, the webinar uh, will be recorded and it will be on the YouTube uh, YouTube uh, channel of GBC. If you go to YouTube uh, channel of GBC, you can find uh, the, the previous uh, com uh, representations of the conference and the workshop will be here, okay? So if you can follow it and now, you will find it uh, here. So I'm going to continue. We are going to apply a legend with double click on the, on the layer or secondary button and properties. We will open the properties window of, the, of this layer. So we can see the general information, for example, the, the path the source of the shape file, uh, the type of geometries. Uh, in this case, it's a multi-polygon uh, 2D uh, layer. We can change the name uh, of the table of contents, of the layer here, and we can apply a symbology. At the second, second tab, we, can, we, we have categories option, uh, for example, by ex expressions, uh, unique values, we have quantities, for example, for intervals, uh, for example, for the area uh, from one color to another color and here, for example. But we are going to apply uh, categories and unique values to color by the different uh, names. So we press here, the we select the name of the boroughs and then we change the color scheme uh, to another to another one because uh, if we select this one we will have the boroughs in black and yellow colors so uh, they are not different if they are not different so we are going to select one of the color schemes with different variety of colors for example this one nature or this one hard candy for example and after that, we are going to add all. We are going to press add all. Here we can see uh, <coughs> uh, uh, different uh, different colors for the different uh, boroughs. But we, we will, if we uh, uh, find some of them that are uh, the same, we can press another one, add all. So they change another one. If we press here, they are a lot of uh, green colors. So now they are more or less different. If we uh, have two similar colors, we can change one of them. For example, this one, we, I can double click on this color. And I'm going to select choose color, the fill color, and for example, red color, okay? And we can change the border, etc. Accept, accept. And after that, if I apply, we can see the colors that I have selected. So I can change change another ones if, if they are uh, the same. So we can select different colors uh, here. After that, we can accept or we can apply labeling. We are going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to, to apply the name of the borough uh, as a label, a label. So I, I'm going to press labeling. Then we, uh, we press enable labeling and we are going to apply the, sa the simple one. So the, single, the simple one is uh, the, the attribute of the, of the field of the table are in the, they will be in the, in the view. So there are a complex uh, labeling, but we are, we are not going to apply this. 
So where uh, this is the simple one, the, the uh, field is the name, and we are going to apply 10 pixels, 10 and pixels. And after applying, we can see the name of the boros, but we can see that if we go far, they are very big uh, and they are overlapped. So after, uh, instead of pixels, we can select, for example, uh, meters, that it's not a screen measure, this is a, an international measure of the uh, terrain, okay? So instead of 10 meters, I'm going to select, for example, 6,000, no, I think 6,000 6, is a lot, 6, 600 meters, okay? And they are more or less, they are good, okay? So if you can see now, uh, New Ham, for example, Greenwich, uh, they are in the same po uh, proportion, they are proportional to the polygon, okay? You can see the difference between pixels and meters, and meters is very useful if we, if we are going to export to a PDF file or uh, to print uh, on the printer, okay? So after that, we accept, and we have the view with this first uh, layer. We are going to apply to add another layer, another local layer from the same bat button, add, la add layer here, the fourth one, and then file, add, and we are going to load Central London. Okay, this one, we press open, and this is in, in the same reference system than the view, so it's correct. So I accept, and we can see here the central London uh, districts. Okay, now we are going to to see this. They are the districts. Uh, I have uh, disabled the London boroughs uh, layer to see only uh, the uh, central London districts. And now we are going to, to apply, to select items on the view, okay? Uh, on the table, you, you saw uh, how we do it, how we did it, but now we are going to do it on the table, okay? So you will, you will have, you will have to uh, enable, uh, to activate the layer, Central London. And now we have these buttons in yellow color. They are different. Uh, the, we have different options. We can select all, this one. We can unselect a clear selection. We can uh, reverse selection. We can select by attribute. For example, we can use this one, select by, by attribute, this one. This is the filter where we can choose the, uh, for example, the name. We have different names. We have the different fields uh, here, so we can double click on the name, for example, for LAD, L-A-D, 11, name, and M. So double click, here we have, and then is equal to, is equal to uh, Camden, for example. Double click, and here we have, this not, this is correct is in white color, so we, this is correct, and we press new selection, and here we have a Camden uh, selected. And here you, we have also the, uh, the another option, we are going to close this window, and we can go to, uh, with this button, select, select by buffer, this is another uh, option, select by layer. So th they are different options. And now we are going to, uh, this is this button, this is the zoom button to a uh, selection. You can use it and we have we have zoomed to, uh, to the selection. And we have diff another different uh, 
different option in the icon set is that uh, for the selection uh, buttons uh, in the previous versions they were in different uh, buttons but now we have a drop down uh, button so you will find the simple selection selection by rectangle by polygon or by polyline or by circle in a drop down uh, button so we can use simple selection and we can press on the different elements if we press the uh, control key we can select different we can add selection or we can unselect the elements okay you can see that we can select or unselect with control key okay and we also can use a drop down button we can select by rectangle so if we draw a rectangle all the element all the elements that are inside and touching with the rectangle have uh, they are going to be selected okay here you can see we have the rectangle uh, here you can see and if we press shift key and the, we draw the rectangle only the the elements that are inside the rectangle are going to be selected for example for this one if, if we press a shift key and if here you can see only the the elements that are inside have been selected okay it's a very useful uh, functionality okay and now uh, we are going to see another another options if we select on the table on the view if we open the attribute table they are selected on the table too uh, we can find the elements they are uh, down but we can use this button move up selection to see the three elements at the top of the uh, of the table okay this is another functionality then we are going to use uh, for example if we have city of london elements here they are here we can export if we have if we want to have a, another shape file with only the city of london uh, districts we will have we can select all the items all the items and we can secondary button and we can export to a new shape file on this on the only the selection okay we can export to then shape file then we can press next we're going to use simplified export uh, is enough next then the encoding encoding utf8 then next all the the fields we can change for example here the the name of the fields we can press next and then we are going to to select the name of the new uh, shape file i'm going to the workshop uh, folder i'm going to create a new folder called new layers for example and then i access to this new uh, folder and then city of london for example then i press open then next the reference system of the view of and the layer is the same next only selected records okay only these ones next and export and then we accept and then we we, we close so we have a new shape file only with the selected records okay so it's very useful uh, tool now we are going to 
to continue with another uh, with another options. We have the measures, uh, areas, distances, for example, the area. We can press click, 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 and double click, double click to find, uh, to finish. So we have here the perimeter and the area. Okay. So uh, another uh, functionalities that are available. Uh, you can see the difference between the previous versions and this one. We have a drop down, drop down uh, button. Okay. And now we are going to add, add we are going to create a new view, a new view, the view number two. Okay, so we are going to show project manager. Here we can see the views, the tables, the maps, and reports. And at the view, we are going to create a new one. We are going to change to rename, for example, view number two, view two, for example. And at the properties, we are going to change the reference system because now we have here four, three to six, uh, that is in, in degrees. So we are going to change the properties to select the projection of the, uh, this, this, of the second view. Okay, so from current pro projection, we are going to select EPSG and the code is Two double seven double O. Okay, this is the same than the other the other view. Okay, we press enter, and we can see this reference system. We press OK here, and we press accept. And after that, we have the new view with the the new reference system. And now we are going to add a layer. This is an artifact photo of the London city. Okay, so from, so from a layer, uh, from file, we are going to add, and we're going to select the ortho photo London, London 277-00, okay? This is a TIFF file, and we press open. We're going to load it normally because it's not a big uh, ortho photo this is a small uh, file so normally not not tiled and then we press accept okay and this is in the correct side so we are going to we are going to draw we are going to this area for example to create a new layer, a new shape file about uh, buildings, and we are going to uh, draw to digitalize uh, several buildings on the on the view. Okay, so we are going to view, then new layer, and we are going to create new shape file, new shape layer. Okay, then we press next. We're going to select the, the name of the file from here, from the folder. And the workshop folder, new layers, and the shape file will be uh, buildings, for example. Buildings. Okay, we press next. They are the, the fields of the attribute table, we need one of them that this is this, this is the geometry, and we have to modify the geometry because now this is a line 2D, so we are going to create a multi-polygon 2D uh, layer. So we modify the geometry. Instead of line, we select multi-polygon, multi-polygon, okay, and 2D and we accept and we have the geometry and we are going to add a new field from new field will be a name for example 
the name of the building it's important that the name of the of the fields uh, doesn't have to uh, they only uh, they, we, we only need uh, 10 characters and without the spaces etc okay so uh, name is correct and this is the size the size of the uh, of the field so 50 is correct is good we accept and then we press next this is a string field okay this is a text field we press next and add layer to view we press finish and now we have a new polygon layer and we are going to secondary pattern and start editing and here you can see the new icons for the editing mode for the vector layers okay so in green color we can see the new elements that we can draw this is a polygon layer so we have uh, circles ellipses irregular polygons uh, rectangles etc and in orange we can find uh, the actions for example uh, rotate the rotation uh, we can scale we can edit vert vertexes uh, okay we can create internal polygons we can cut okay split uh, geometries and now we need to draw a polygon an irregular uh, irregular polygon okay so from insert polygon and now we are going to draw this one for example here here the third one and we can find we can finish pressing double click on the last one okay double click and it's close uh, to the first one okay but if we press one two three and four i can't uh, press double click on the first uh, point because it will it's possible that but that that i have a corrupt uh, geometry a uh, nate okay across uh, lane, lines okay so if i have draw, drawn all the points i can use and uh, here the console finish or close polygon pl uh, polyline so f or c f for example i press enter and now we have all the correct uh, polygon and another one these two one two three four another another option is secondary pattern and finish or close polyline for example close polyline okay and now if we open the attribute table we can show the attribute table and we can change the name of the buildings the first one second one and third one for example uh, shopping center then the second one Yep. Uh, for example, industries. Okay, so we can uh, fill in the table with the different uh, elements. Okay, for the different elements. And if we close the table, we can find another option, another button that has changed the uh, that is uh, the the attribute editor. And so we can edit. The attribute not for the not from the table but from uh, an independent uh, window okay this uh, pattern is different the icon the icon in the previous versions was a, a page uh, and now it's another uh, different and with a red color so we press here and we can press we can press on the polygon for example this one and here we can see all the fields that I have, the name, for example. But, uh, so, building uh, three, for example. 
and I have to press save. After that, if I open the, the attribute table, I can see the building number three here. So it's a, another option to, to edit the, the table. And now we're going to see the tools uh, for the edition. Okay, so for example, this, I can uh, copy, rotate, move, or duplicate. So I can, I want to duplicate this one here to here. I can press another one, another one. If I press escape, if it finishes, okay? And then uh, we can, we can change the, the vertexes, for example, with this button, edit vertex. So I'm going to change the vertexes of this geometry. If I press edit vertex, it's a, a different icon than the uh, previous versions. Here we can see the icons, the vertices, vertices okay? And I also can add a new vertex. For example, if I want to add a new vertex here, I have to press this one, and then here at the console, plus, and then enter. So we have a new, a new uh, vertex, okay? If I, if I want another one here to move it here, I press at the next one, number one, then plus and then enter. So I have to move this one. Okay, I, I, I can add or uh, remove uh, vertexes. And then I'm going to uh, split this geometry. For example, this is the tool. The split geometry. This is the tool. And now we have select tool to split the selected geometries. Uh, so now I have the lines or polylines. I have to cross completely the, the geometry. So, so for example, for here, from here to here, and then double click here. I have this one and this one, okay? And if I press control key, both uh, geometries, I have another one that is combine or join, join geometries, okay? So now I have one geometry again, okay? They are the uh, tools for the, for the uh, editing mode. And I'm going to use another one. I'm going to press this to draw this polygon. They are overlapped. And I'm going to, uh, to split this geometry uh, with this one, okay? So this is this tool. It's trim polygons by object. So geometry, uh, to trim uh, with. So this one, I press enter, and now I press here, and now I have this one and this one, okay? So it's a, a new tool in GB6 2.6. And now we are going to apply a to, to show the uh, geoprocessing tools. It's a new, I'm going to finish editing first, secondary button and finish editing and save. And now we have this one, this one, this one. Uh, I'm going to show to show you the uh, toolbox. This is the new button, the new, uh, the button of the new icon set, toolbox or tools, geoprocessing toolbox is the same, okay? We press here, toolbox. And here we can see a lot of uh, geo, more than 400 geoprocessing tools for buffers, uh, for polygons, for lines, for digital elevation models, rasterization, uh, profiles, etc. There are a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, 
uh, tools for geoprocessing. And in GBC, GBC geoprocesses, you have vector layers tools. They are the main ones. So we can apply, for example, a buffer, double click on buffer. And here we have the, the new window. We are going to apply the buffer for the buildings. I want to calculate uh, 100 meters from all the buildings because uh, we can't, for example, build another another building in 100 meters. Okay, so for the buildings, area defined by a distance 100 meters, not selected because I want everyone dissolve entities to create only one polygon, round border. Uh, outside the polygon, only one ring. And I'm going to save to temporary file. If I want to save to a file in my disk, I have to, to access here and then put the name. But I'm going to save in temporary file. OK. I press OK. And here we can see the buffer. Buffer. And this is only one polygon because it's I selected the dissolve entities. Okay, so I had one polygon, one polygon, one polygon, and dissolve entities, it, I have only one polygon. Okay. And uh, to finish this workshop, I'm going to, to create a legend for the buildings. I double click, symbology, then categories, unique values, and the name of the buildings. OK, for example, these colors, they are different. OK, so uh, it's OK for me. I'm going to apply and accept. OK, I'm, I have four different type of buildings. OK, so if uh, now I'm going to create a map, a, lay a layout, they are Two options. There are two options from the show project manager. A map. I'm going, I have. I want to create a new map. New map. Or the other one. The, op the other option is directly map and new layout. Okay. We. I have to select the page size. For example, the same as printer is A4 or A3, A2, etc. Horizontal or, horizontal or vertical, and the name of the view, for example, the view number two with the buildings, and accept. And here we have the buildings. And I have this information here. And here you can see if you have used uh, GBC previously, you can see the new icon set for the layouts. We have the zooms for the paper. Uh, we, I have, I can zoom to this area, for example, and I have the zooms for the uh, for the view. Okay, so I can zoom to the buildings, for example, with this button. Okay. Or zoom to all the information. I have. I can zoom to this uh, to this part. Okay. And with secondary button and properties, I can fix the scale. For example, this is not a correct scale. So for me, it's better one thousand five hundred. Okay. I accept. And then. I'm going to add the new, the different elements. Okay, so this is the the new icon set for the for the add elements uh, options. So I can add polygons, I can add rectangles, uh, for example, from here to here. Okay, I can add uh, texts, for example, here. 
and then London buildings. I press center and font size 40, for example. And here we have the title. Then we can add uh, boxes, the legend, for example, the legend from for this view, not buffer, not the auto photo, only buildings. And here we have all the information. Okay. I can use these options. We also have a legend locator. We don't have locator. We have north. We can add a north for this view and then we have we can select this one for example and the north and we also have we can group uh, the graphics of the layout we can place back or front etc okay we can insert the scale for example here here on uh, this one and the graphic one and 20, for example, meters uh, to 20 meters. Okay, accept. And here we have the scale for the for the view. And after that, we can print to a to the printer. We can export to a PDF file, or we can export to PostScript. Okay, and here. We have seen how to work with GPC 2.6. Uh, you can you haven't seen anything new uh, in functionality about functionalities because it's uh, functionalities. Uh, the new ones are, uh, for example, the version control system, the XML uh, files. Uh, there are several different functionalities, but you have seen uh, how to work with the new I concept. But it's it's very interesting. It's important to know and to get you to get used to work with this new icon set. Okay, and if you if you want to work with the the other functionalities, you can access you can look for GIS in Google GIS municipality management. For example, you can find this course, GIS for municipality management. Uh, this is one, this is the uh, this is the course and this is certification. And here you can find a lot of videos with the different functionalities, but they are with the previous uh, icon set, but uh, the, uh, the the way to work with the different tools are similar. So if you want to to learn uh, more about GBC, you can use these videos. You can follow these videos because we have, uh, for example, the deri derivative uh, geometries. We can uh, we have the hyperlink. Uh, we have image re georeferencing tools. Okay, so there are a lot of options to to work. Now we only had one hour uh, for this workshop, but you can uh, you have uh, these videos if you want to work with GBC. Okay, so thank you very much. If you have the, any doubt, you can access to the to gbc.com and then to community and mailing lists. And here you can see the English spoken users uh, mailing list. Okay, so here you can you can register and you can send any doubt about the project about GBC to this mailing list, and we will answer you. Uh, we will answer you directly. Okay, so thank you very much, and we will see uh, soon. Okay, thank you.